everyone, we are gathered here today to celebrate and to witness the marriage of Michael John DeFilippi and Cynthia Page Goodman. So, well, here, here. Yay. so we are all gathered here because we're celebrating the life that this couple is building together. I am so happy and also so honored to be here today. Um, and I know that this is going to be a lot of fun for all of us. So I can't wait. Um, and who was part of this <laughs> So thank you all for coming today on behalf of uh, Mike and Cynthia. Um, you guys are uh, so important and we're so happy to have you. Um, a special thank you to Maureen and Skip, who are close, close family friends. Um, Maureen and Skip, because of their generosity, we're here today in this most beautiful, most beautiful, <laughs> and also most meaningful of places. So thank you guys so much. Thanks. Thank you guys. So Mike and Cynthia, we are here today because we're celebrating the fact that you guys have chosen to spend the rest of your lives together. Congratulations. And then also welcome. Um, so my name is Chrissy Chillingarian, for those of you who don't know me, and I have known my best friend Mike since probably about half the time that we've been on Earth together. Um, Cynthia, I've known a little less long. <laughs> However, in the intervening time that we have known each other, we did a musical together, and therefore we are like family. <laughs> <laughs> so I had the couple over to my house a few weeks back, um, and we sat down, and I asked them to tell me a little bit about when they decided to get married. And Mike and Cynthia looked at each other, and they said to me, there was never really the need for an epiphany or a realization for a moment. Um, they both just knew. And I think that as your family and friends, we can really understand and feel the deep connection between you guys and the caring that you have for one another. Mm -hmm. It's pretty palpable. Mm -hmm. um, I remember back when Mike first met Cynthia, and Mike and I were actually roommates at the time. Um, backstory. <laughs> and Mike came back from, I think, his second date with Cynthia, and he was absolutely floating on air. Um, which I was actually concerned about because they had been to a haunted hayride. <laughs> but Mike knew, Mike knew very, very early on that Cynthia was a kindred spirit. From their shared interest in live performance, all things Stephen Sondheim, Gilbert and Sullivan, uh, not just Ian Day. Um, and, you know, He's getting the same as Gilbert and Sullivan. You know, <laughs> but also their honesty and their sincerity and their kindness towards one another always. Um, Cynthia, I asked you to tell me a little bit about your early recollections of Mike, and you said to me that Mike was so truly and unselfishly present and supportive and patient, um, especially in times when you need it most, and that is so truly the embodiment of my friend Mike. She really, really knows you, buddy. <laughs> that means I want to keep her. <laughs> Let's get started. So Cynthia and Mike, we are here because we are celebrating your decision to live together and to laugh together. And we are all so lucky to be here. I feel lucky. I hope you guys all do too. I know everyone here does because, you know, this is the first steps on their journey into marriage. We're joining them and preparing them. And, you know, it's really a responsibility for us because we're all here. We're witnessing this on, you know, their very first steps into this journey. Um, and so, you know, I think it's very meaningful to be here. I know we're all happy to be here. Um, so, <laughs> very meaningful. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just, I guess we'll just get started. Mike and Cynthia have written their own vows today, um, and they're going to share them with each other. So whenever you guys are ready, Oh, 
when we first started dating, I was just dipping my toes into the dating scene. I, I had no intention of finding someone so quickly, but in fact, for a while, I was worried it was too soon. You know, I, I wanted to make sure my motivations were healthy and that I was doing right by you. But in a way, our meeting at such a terrible time in life, it was the best thing. <laughs> Not your first time. Our, our conversations got very real very quickly, and I was able to see the best of you from the very beginning. A man so patient and thoughtful and gracious and just genuinely good. I couldn't believe you were real. I never, I've never met anyone like you before. You're, you're the most like Jesus of anyone I've ever heard. <laughs> you love me better than I knew was possible, and I want to take this opportunity to say thank you. And I was in a crap storm of confusion and pain, but it didn't scare you away. You jumped right in there with me, and you never gave up for me. You were so brave. And I'm so grateful. Whatever the future holds, you've already made my life immeasurably better. And I'm seriously the luckiest girl in the world for getting to continue living life with you. I love you so much. I look forward to many more late night political rants. <laughs> Hearing all about your new Skyrim character. <laughs> And forcing you to listen to my jumbled explanations of quantum theory. <laughs> and theater, of course, so much <laughs> I will continue to communicate with you, and I'll do my best to enjoy the now instead of fearing the future. I will honor, respect, support, affirm, and just love the crap out of you. <laughs> From now on, it's me and you, no matter what. If science figures out a way for us to live for a thousand years, it'll be a thousand years of us loving each other. We are a team, and we will make it through both the good times and the bad together. And I can't wait, I can't wait to see where life takes us. Part of me finds it hard to believe that I'm standing before you today, ready to officially embark on our lives together. Just a little over two years ago, there was no one in my life who I could imagine beside me, someone who could make me feel the way that you make me feel. And yet part of me is not surprised at all, because even before we met, face to face, when we were just exchanging messages and online, I felt an immediate kinship with you, which only increased tenfold and tenfold again once we met in person. I could probably spend all day explaining the reasons I love you, but I'll try to highlight the biggest ones. For one thing, there's your inquisitive, scientific, brilliant mind. I don't think I've ever met someone with your hunger for knowledge and understanding. Science isn't just a hobby for you or even a job, it's a passion that drives you. I also admire your dedication and commitment to all you do. When you have a goal in mind, you don't just sit around hoping something gets done about it. You make a plan, you focus on it, and accomplish that task, whether it's something as simple as a fun crafting project, or something as complicated as a beautiful, meaningful wedding, or both. <laughs> and I always look forward to your next accomplishment, however great or small. But most of all, what humbles me the most is your compassionate soul. It shows itself in little ways, usually, the, the way you hate pranks because, of, because they upset people, <laughs> or the way you have difficulty watching shows where a character's hopes are dashed, even if they're a hero or a villain. 
<laughs> in a world that pushes us to ignore the difficulties or suffering of others so we can focus on ourselves, you care deeply, genuinely, and instinctively. You are an incredible, wonderful, and beautiful woman in body, mind, and soul. I thank God with all my heart that you are in my life each day. I promise to be with you and to love you and to protect you in every way I can for the rest of our days together. Aww. The wedding ring is a circle, and a circle is a symbol of oneness and of wholeness and of eternal harmony. The vows that you both are making today, you guys are going to have to renew them again tomorrow, and the tomorrow after that, and the one after that. The wedding ring is also a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. So what you guys are promising today, just continue to remember that you have resolved to live together in generosity and in kindness. You guys have a ring? <laughs> I marry you and pledge my enduring, faithful love. With this ring, I marry you and pledge my enduring, faithful love. Michael, please repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you and pledge my enduring, faithful love. With this ring, I marry you. Pledge my enduring faithful love. Look, I'm an actor and I use my upstage hand because that's what you do to chat out to the audience. <laughs> I tried to cut all the theater jokes, but it didn't. <laughs> Paige Goodman as your wife, to be your partner through the good times and through the bad, to love each other, to cherish one another, and to grow together for as long as you both shall live. I do. Do you, Cynthia Page Goodman, take Michael John DeFilippi to be your husband? to be your partner through good times and through bad, to love each other, to cherish one another, and to grow together for as long as you both shall live. I do. It is my great joy and my happy privilege to pronounce you both partners in life you may not kiss. <laughs> <laughs> See? 
see your wish pursue. It's a dangerous endeavor, but the only thing to do. Though it's fearful, though it's steep, though it's dark, though you may lose the path, though you may cut the walls. You must be strong, you must be strong, you must be strong. You have to stand up, and you have your wish to get what you wish to have, your wish to get just wish to get your wish. You go into the woods where nothing's there, where wishes don't settle so near. Into the woods and through the fear, you have to take the journey. Into the woods and down the dell, in vain perhaps, but who can tell? Into the woods to lift the spell. Into the woods to lose the longing. Into the woods to have the child. To wed the prince. To get the money. To save the house. To kill the wolf. To find the father. To conquer the kingdom. To have to wait. To get to save. To kill to keep. To go to the festival. Into the woods. Into the woods. Into the woods and out of the woods. To be continued. And happy ever after. Oh.